the reason why India is still way ahead of Pakistan is because they're closer to enlightenment values than Pakistan. There's nothing in Hinduism that makes India better than Pakistan. The reasons why India is ahead of Pakistan is because their separation, the, the still the separation, separation of church and state, they have much more than Pakistan because of the freedom of expression that they have much more than the Pakistan, than the government accountability that they have much more than Pakistan, than the due process values that they have much more than Pakistan. So every single thing that makes India better than Pakistan is thanks to them and the enlightenment values. And again, these enlightenment values are not Western values because the reason why I don't call them Western values is because Western values are many va other values that are shitty. Like Nazism is a Western value, okay? Communism is a Western value, right? And enlightenment values, um, just because it came, if, if we want to say they're Western values just because they were popularized in the West, well, then Nazism is also a Western value. We don't endorse those values, right? And also enlightenment values do not belong to the West. The enlightenment values belong to the world. Every country that adapted these values became better. This is why South Korea is better than North Korea. This is why Hong Kong is better than China. This is why Japan is so great. These are not Western countries. They adapted Western, they adapted enlightenment values and now they're better places, right? And also these values, these ideas, even though most of us remember the champions of these ideas from the uh, 1800s in Western Europe, because they were the most successful at it, that doesn't mean they didn't have the champions before it in other places. These are ideas that India, many years before, had these champions in India, in Pakistan, in Iran, in China, Every in, in Brazil, these are ideas that were that had its own cheerleaders in these countries way before the uh, Age of Enlightenment in Western Europe. The, the, the philosophers in the Age of Enlightenment in Western Europe just happened to be the most successful ones at promoting it. But these were values that other people recognize that they work um, and, and many years before in every, almost every other country. So it's not Western values, it's Enlightenment values, and they belong to every, every country.